Welcome guys to another video on my channel In today's video we'll talk about some key points out of this book and I thought I'll go for a nice walk again because it is the last day where the sun is as bright as it is today and yeah I hope you follow along with me during this nice walk and I can guarantee you these are some very important and uh, major key steps which I've learned from this book and I still apply in my life so follow along and I'll see you outside. So, Robert Greene, not everyone likes the books of him because uh, his book Power, for example, had, uh, was in critique because it had manipulative uh, aspects in there, but the only thing Robert Greene does is looking back, looking at our ancestors and, about, and looking back history and he's telling the stories he got from there so that is also the first thing I've got in today's video and that is time is the greatest teacher and um, I mean think in general if you do a task it takes you time to realize how much time you need to invest and the more you do it the more you get automatic routines and automatic like the process is getting better and better more efficient and that's how you see that you made progress and uh, yeah it is not always easy to see that progress especially when you were on your lowest points and uh, started to get into that habit to improving yourself and I've realized that when I was uh, like after my military service I had four months time about where I was reading I was really improving on myself and then my study started and nothing I couldn't do anything anymore and <clears throat> after that my parents took a, like started a restaurant and I'm doing the administrative work there and uh, that took over as well so I literally didn't have time to improve myself as the way like the way I was doing before and as soon as uh, the first semester ended I finally got some time to reflect on my life and reflect on the things that happened in the past six months and that's that's the moment when time is your greatest teacher because I was thinking back and was like is that the way I want to live the next four years and the answer was uh, Def like definitely no like okay what change do I want to make I was already thinking about this channel starting this channel and uh, as I told you guys it took me quite a long time to start it off but I finally t took the courage and published that first video and uh, at the same time uh, I'm working one afternoon less and that's how I told you last video already how I'm investing that time into hiking and uh, spending time outside and uh, enjoying nature am i happy with my life is that where i want to be 
if it is a no or just a part yes then make a change because time will pass so quickly and in a snap moment we are 40 50 years and if we look back there are probably things which we would regret but there are also a lot of things we look back like oh i'm proud of what i did there so don't hesitate to wait for something that it isn't the perfect time and just take that step with small steps and start it off like that So, the second thing for today's video is get a master of controlling your emotions. Why do you need to control your emotions? Because think back, think back of situations where you made a decision or said something to a person which you regretted instantly and were not effective. You need to realize that the subconsciousness of ours, of our minds, has a major impact on our lives and our decisions we make. And if these emotions are inside these decisions, you, you're getting like not the right, or they're getting mixed up. And you don't make the wise decision you would if you would, if your emotions are not playing such an important role in that decision so you need to realize when these situations happen and calm yourself down and make a wise decision after you calm yourself down and uh, another thing is as well that you need to let go of these people who don't have the similar interest and the way of thinking you have because you like that's just reality we can't change the humans who want to stay as they are but we can change the humans who want to develop themselves and want to grow and want to improve themselves so focus rather on those people make a circle of people and friends who have the similar interests and want to grow with you rather than trying to correct your environment and the people you are surrounded with because you probably get frustrated and give up from doing that. So that was the second thing. Control your emotions to be fully aware of the decisions you make. you see I'm sweating again it is just I don't know if I just lost my endurance that much or if our hills are just kind of steep to walk up but you know if we have such a lovely spring I'm fully enjoying this because last year exactly at that moment that was a military and it was raining quite a lot and we had to sleep outside and th things like that so I really enjoyed this things which I've realized since I'm working in an office and that you need to enjoy nature so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video so far and I'll walk a bit further to get to the third point
so the third thing I've got for today's video is or I've got from the book of Robert Greene the laws of human nature is know your limits why is that so important and why did I pick that out there you want to go over the limit like over the, the resources you have in yourself or do you want to get it done step by step work your way up and climb up the ladder and not to uh, overwork and uh, be too quick and have the feeling you need to reach the top within a few days no give it time and change if you need to if uh, if there are aspects in your life where you see that you are over the limit but don't take it as uh, always like oh I need a rest day today again and tomorrow and put off the things you should actually do like working out and uh, going to the gym going to the gym hitting it regularly don't say like oh yeah I'll have a rest day rather put the limit if you see that it's too much because I'm a person who has the tendency to go over the limits quite a lot because uh, I grew up like that like um, my parents and uh, my environment is working a lot and uh, I've realized I need to find a better work-life balance why I also started this channel to get into the nature again and enjoy this process of giving valuable information out there to people who want to grow as well and I guess um, the step gives me like or already gives me the balance within the last 20 videos now which I've uh, published and uh, which I filmed and edited and all that process I enjoy and that's how you need to find balances in your life to make it happen and to realize that you're not going over the limit so yeah that was the third thing I've realized from the book the laws of human nature I can recommend this book to anyone out there because uh, it picks out a lot of things from our ancestors as I told you and from history which I've realized actually we human didn't change that much in those aspects because I'll say that human behaviors we have in ourselves they are kind of similar and have many aspects similar to it so take some key points out of that book and take some key points out of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll wrap it up as soon as I reach that top it's a few last steps to get up there and uh, yeah I'll see you up there was it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it the book the laws of human nature I can recommend to anybody who wants to get into personal development and to improve his or her life and uh, like that thank you very much for watching hit the subscribe button because I drop two new videos every single Sunday and every single Thursday and you don't want to miss them and I will talk to you guys in the next video.